I want to share with you a little bit about my journey. Uh, so almost for 40 years now, I've, I've been discovering and studying and practicing different um, traditional healing methods and remedies, and also, um, you know, the science part of it. So I'm a cosmetic formulator, and so, you know, I uh, employ the cosmetic chemistry to my formulations. And so I have a foot in both worlds, and so I feel like I'm, I'm pretty balanced with that now. So I've, I have training in Ayurveda, which is, you know, thousands of years old, and a study of the body and healing the body, you know, natural methods. And I have a training in herbalism, aromatherapy, and also in cosmetic chemistry. And so I've kind of branched the two together, and this is about fresh skincare. And that's what I have I've finally realized, wow, how plants really are powerful and how they matter. And so the more that we can eat plants, fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, um, and even incorporate that into our skin care and hair care, the, the, the happier we are and the more vibrant um, our skin is, our, our body is, our energy is. And I know it for a fact, you know, um, one thing that really led me to is this, I healed my own psoriasis that my dad had, my uh, grandfather had. And from that healing of my psoriasis, I, I see the, the crucial role that plants play. So this is, I just want to tell you a little bit about, about fresh skincare and how I think it's so crucial. So I just, I love my emulsions. You know, I, I uh, formulate emulsions like uh, lotions, creams, serums. Uh, moisturizers and I, I love applying those that to my skin but what I have found is for immediate real quick results is to use fresh skincare and um, plants fruits vegetables they have live you know they're alive so you're applying alive you know vitamins that are as fresh as they can be enzymes minerals um, nutrients uh, you know, fatty acids, everything what the plant has. And that's what we need, especially like um, water soluble vitamins, like vitamin C, which is such a beautiful skin brightener. It's like it dissipates, it loses its efficacy when you put it in a formulation. So when you put, you know, vitamin C on your face from, from fresh skincare, you will see a difference. You will, you'll notice a difference. So um, that's what this is about. And in the ebook, I have many, many uh, recipes and I keep adding to the ebook. So if you did purchase it or are purchasing it, you know, you have many, many downloads. You know, every now and then refresh your download because I, I add things to it. So just let's start. So you should cleanse your, your skin every night, you know, uh, especially women that wear makeup. And uh, plant milks to me are one of the superior nourishing things for the skin. So hemp milk is my all time favorite. It's filled with minerals, vitamins, uh, you know, fatty acids, and it, it nourishes and nurtures the skin. So it's excellent for sensitive skin. Same thing with oat milk. Oat milk helps to even skin tone, soothe the skin, soften the skin. I love almond milk. I love soy milk. And um, I eat plant-based. And so I have all these things already in my pantry, in my refrigerator, on my, you know, all these things I already have. I didn't have to go to the store and buy anything like for this, uh, this segment here. Uh, so I, what I eat, I use for my skin. And you will notice a difference. You will see brighter skin. You'll notice a, a softer skin. Y you will notice. And so I would love it if you, you know, do try fresh skincare and let me know. And I sure wish that more spas and estheticians and salons would incorporate it into their regimen. And uh, so skincare regimen is very important because when we touch our skin, you know, we, we literally, we touch ourselves and it feels really nice to be gentle and touch our skin with, especially with beautiful plant-based ingredients that have been healing for thousands of years. So uh, it, a cleanser is so easy and all these recipes are in the ebook, but you just can take any kind of plant milk. So hemp milk is right now my all time favorite. And then I have, it's so easy to grow herbs and I have just this, you know, right now I have a very small planter box and, and I just get herbs for just, they're under, you know, a couple dollars and plant them in there. And so one of them I'm playing with now, it's so fun. It's, uh, it is uh, um, uh, orange uh, bergamot mint. And mint is so beautiful for the skin. So you can use fresh mint, you can use dried mint. The fresher, of course, is gonna have more 
um, you know, vitamins and minerals for the skin. So the fresher is better. But if you don't use dried, just use something. And so this one, it, it smells, it has citrusy smell, like orange. And so you can make an iced tea with it. You can, um, after you make an iced tea with it, you know, you just make an herbal tea. And I, I tell you how to do that in the ebook. But then drink it too. You know, I mean, it's excellent because it helps to clarify the body, helps to clarify the skin. And uh, one thing you need to know is you need to know and understand your skin. So you need to know what kind of type of skin you have. And our, our skin is always changing. So go with where it's at and listen to yourself, you know, listen to your skin. So, you know, as we age, it changes. Uh, you know, as we, um, different hormones change our skin, medications change it, the environment changes it. So just adjust with your skin wherever you're at. And this is the same thing with eating. So um, just incorporate more plants into your diet. If you want to plump up skin, eat plump fruits, you know, peaches, tangerines, oranges, nectarines, um, plums. It, it's a great hydration for the skin, a great plumping effect. Put them on your skin. Eat, um, eat some, leave a little bit to apply for your skin. I like to apply a lot of the things before a shower because then I can then um, just rinse it off in the shower or the bath. It's a lot easier. Uh, so, um, so the herbs that I grow, that's one of them is the bergamot. And you can always tell mint plant because it has a square tent, uh, stem. So any kind of mint, you should just try, just get one plant. You know, even if you're in an apartment, just plant it in a, a small little, um, you know, planter. And then just use that one, whatever plant you're drawn to. Another one I'm growing is um, thyme. And this is lemon thyme. And um, I just, I love the, the fragrance of it. And thyme is really good for like to, to um, clear, clarify the skin, especially like if you have blemishes, acne, infected kind of things. It's uh, one of the best things for it because it's antiseptic. And so again, you can make, uh, do facial steams with it. Any fresh herbs are beautiful to do facial steams. You can use dried. Just, you know, again, do, use something. Uh, and uh, you can drink the tea with it. it. It's so good for you to drink it. So, and also eat it. You know, just take it apart and put on your food. All your food that you eat, you should have a little bit of fresh herb on there. Just something that is not cooked yet, um, that's fresh, that, that has just been harvested, that you can um, receive all the nutrients from it. Uh, rosemary. Rosemary is excellent. It's so beautiful and it is um, it helps to really like awaken the skin It helps with circulation and to get that skin going so for dull skin It works perfect if coming off of winter into spring It's a great thing just to get that circulation going and get that stagnancy out of us from you know a stagnant winter uh, and then one one of the all-time uh, excellent uh, herbs is uh, is parsley. So parsley again, it is clarifying, it's tonifying, and you can use this on all skin types. And it's just been known for a long time how great parsley is for the skin. So with you know, I I don't say go overboard, but just you know, pick one or two herbs that you might be interested in, and just try it. Try making an herbal tea with it. Try it in your toners. Try making you know fresh. Uh, um, concoctions with it like I'm going to show you your your um, your masks and uh, other things you can do like um, kale kale is excellent to eat but you can also make a tea with um, kale and, and use the tea uh, for your for your skin and um, the the fresher the ingredients are uh, th they're going to provide tremendous vitamin C and so vitamin C brightens the skin so you can smash up blueberries and um, eat them strawberries and put them in your mask too. Uh, if you look at uh, like tangerines, lemons, oranges, grapefruits, uh, there's the, what's called the doctrine of signatures and traditional herbalists have gone by that for a long time to know like what plant is good for what part of the body and fruits, um, you know, what part. So if you look at these, they have like, the, the skin looks like human skin, like little dimples, what our skin looks like. So these are excellent for the skin. You just, you know, if you're gonna apply them to the skin, cause they're very acidic and they brighten the skin, they dissolve your dead skin cells. You just have to be careful to not go out in the sun because once they dissolve your skin cells, if you go out in the sun without any kind of protection, it's just like raw skin and you're just, you know, you can get um, sunburn. And so be careful with that. I'm um, like, that's the same thing with pineapple. Uh, if you do any kind of thing like with pineapple or, or a citrus, do it in the evening, you know, do it in the evening and don't go out in the sun, do it before your bedtime. 
Uh, bananas, the riper, the better because they have um, more potassium and minerals and nutrients for you. And they, they're very softening to the skin. They're very soothing. So anybody who has sensitive skin, excellent, excellent. Of course, we all know how good avocado is for this skin. It's high in vitamin D and helps to really nourish and um, um, regenerate the skin. So any of these, you eat it and save a little bit for your skin. Uh, and then, so um, I, for this, um, what I did, I did an infusion with my mint. So it's a mint and, and hemp milk cleanser. You can use almond milk, you can use soy milk, you can use oat milk, macadamia milk. They're all beautiful milks to drink, to bake with, and to use for skincare. So what I do is the night before is I just get some mint from my garden. And I just, you know, I break it all up because that helps to release the constituents of the herb. And I put it in my milk. I let it set in the fridge overnight. And then, you know, I just, uh, I, I, I um, put it in a little container. And I have a beautiful facial cleanser. And it also is, nourishes my skin, soothes my skin. And then if I need, like, to remove my makeup, I'll add a little bit, like, one or two drops of of grapeseed oil or sunflower oil because it helps to lift the makeup. I'm, I'm one I can't do oils by themselves on my eyes. Some people can because it, it makes my eyes feel sleepy. So you kind of have to, um, you know, again, it's very important for you to know your own skin. What can your skin tolerate, what it can't. So start slow, don't go overboard. And uh, let's see. So, okay, so you have your cleanser here. And if you wanted to put, you know, again, uh, you know, it can be an all-purpose cleanser to remove your makeup, too. And this, you know, you, you really need to use, um, you would take all your, your herb out of here and use, keep it refrigerated and use it, like, within a week. And make a fresh batch. It's so simple. Uh, and then, or you don't even have to put, infuse the mint in it. You can just use this and then put a couple drops of your oil in there. And, uh, I, again, like, so I have grapeseed oil here, which is, is very light for the skin. And I like that because I, I can't do heavy oils on my, my skin type. So again, you have to figure out your, your skin. Sunflower oil is another beautiful oil for the skin because it's so high in vitamins and it's, it's not as heavy as olive oil. Um, and both of them are neutral in odor. So you don't have like a strong odor either coming um, from the, the oil. And then if you, then after, after cleansing, I do like a toner. So in here, what I did was I just did, I, uh, so I'm into this water right now. And um, so one thing is, is just to talk about that real quick is if you have uh, dry skin, you have to determine if it's dehydrated skin from not holding on to water. Um, or if it's like from lack of um, moisture on your skin, lack of oils, you need, might need a little bit more oil. So um, this water, it's, it's naturally alkalized and it also has um, um, natural electrolytes in it. And so natural electrolytes help us to hold onto the water in our body. So sometimes it, it doesn't do any good if you're just drinking more and more water and it's going right through you. So salts have, some salts have electrolytes like Himalayan. And so sometimes we need to have that in our diet. So, you know, I drink the water and then, you know, and it doesn't cost that much to buy this. You know, it can be very um, cost effective making your own skin, fresh skincare. And then I use some to make the toner. So in here, I put a quarter cup of water. And then what I love is actually using like a, an, um, food extract. So this is an organic lemon extract. This is a orange extract and I'm really into orange right now. So I put a little orange extract and these recipes are in the ebook, but it's very easy, but you have to be careful. Like you have to know your skin type for how much to put, start on the lower end, putting it in and, you know, tone your face with it. And so then I put it in this, you know, and it smells good. It feels good. You can put some on a cotton ball. You can mist your face with it that way. Then after that, for the evening, all you really need is a, a moisturizer, a light moisturizer. You could end with that, depending on your skin. But for your light moisturizer, all you can do is, on your moist skin, is you can make a very nice um, serum, like with your um, a light oil. And I have a couple formulations in the ebook on that, but you can just use a plain oil. But the important thing is, is you hardly want to use any if you're just going to use the, the oil. You would put it, you could even like squirt some of this in your hand, you know, a bunch. Put a drop of oil in here and then rub it and then gently apply it and there's your moisturizer 
uh, and um, then I think it's really nice to do a regimen each week and um, a regimen being um, you know a skincare regimen so like uh, like once um, you know once a month once a week take a little bit extra time to do like a facial mask facial masks are great to use weekly especially from plants so this one is um, you know you can take what you made for the with the hemp milk and just add it directly into your uh, mask and so I already mixed this mask up but you can do so simple all it is 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 just um, any kind of you know whatever you're drawn to like a flower uh, this you can use you can grind oats so I use this it works spectacular to grind oats um, you can grind your oats in there you can grind you know make an almond meal but get blanched almonds and grind them up or you can just buy oat flour and buy almond meal which it already is grind, ground so fine so you want to make sure and feel it and add a little bit of water before applying it to the face because you don't want anything real abrasive to your skin so then I just mix these uh, two things up and uh, and then you could just add your plant milk to this that's it and there's your facial mask and exfoliator and it will even your skin tone it will brighten your skin it will um, um, make your skin feel very soft but um, what you can do is so you can just do this by itself or you can do other things in here too which are kind of fun so vitamin C like I said it's you know it's most effective to use right away so uh, you know you um, you you know want to use like then you can smash your your strawberries or your blueberries put them in there for your mask um, put a little bit of a lemon or orange for your mask that's instant vitamin C or you can get like something like I have this vitamin C packet that's just vitamin C I sprinkle a tiny bit in here and then I put the rest in water and I drink it so there that you can have vitamin C in there you can do again you can grind roses in that grinder or um, you know do your own and this is all things that I have so it's like if you don't have them just work with what you do have and then you know I can put a little bit of, of roses in there a rose hip seed powder uh, which is very very high in vitamin C and then if I want to even do uh, more than that you know depending on some of you may even have certain supplements that are, are excellent so I, I take spirulina and um, you know at first it's an algae and at first it really smells horribly like a pond <laughs> when you open it but uh, it's not so bad if you do a sm you, you just have to do real small amounts and I just anyway so then I, I infuse that into here and it's it's very high in minerals and nutrients and um, you know you know nourishment and protein for the skin and so then I apply this you know and leave it on for about 10 minutes and that's my weekly mask and exfoliator uh, so skincare can be very very simple and you know just use kind of like what you have so this is uh, what I did was this is a, a from my mint an infusion and you can either make an herbal tea with it and drink that tea right away you know you can make a big pot of it um, drink the tea cool it off make it an iced tea put the rest in your um, bathtub take a nice herbal bath of the tea or um, you know and also make it and use part for your toner that evening uh, you know I, this is an infusion so I just put some in and I put hot water on it last night let it set overnight and so now I can drink this cool I'll, I'll strain that out and then I'll also use it for my toner for uh, in the evenings and um, you always want to kind of apply cool things to the face also I didn't talk about like agave you could put agave in here and agave or, or sugar so you can make a sugar water or, or, or agave and it also helps to like um, so agave helps to soothe, soothe the skin helps to soften and it helps to dissolve skin cells so you can either use agave or some a little bit of sugar again you can just put it in water and put that on your face um, or put it in your mask uh, you, you know so many things you can do if you can just if you don't have herbs you can buy herbal teas this one is rose hips 
and it, you, again rose hips are so high in vitamin C you can use that so it, wherever you're at you can you can just start with fresh skincare it really doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be a big major thing you, you know you can just go to the farmers market and pick up one herb pick up a bunch of parsley and chop that parsley up put it on your salads put it on your pasta eat it fresh put it put it you know make a, a tea with it drink it make a tea for the skin use it on your skin use it use it as a hair rinse so many things but you know just start like that and and it can be so fun um, and then I also which I you know already did a presentation on on uh, flower power I put flower essences so I'll, I can put a drop in of flower essences in here um, or I'll put it in here my toner and so you can refer to that ebook on on flower essences. I'll also put in my serums that I leave on my uh, face, my oil serums, I will put a drop of essential oil in there and because I like the scent, it's beautiful. And I also like the constituents, uh, the, the benefits that that essential oil offers for my skin. So uh, uh, that's again, you can refer to the My Aromatherapy book on how to use essential oils. But as you can see, you can make it as complicated or easy as you want and I, I really think fresh skincare should be easy and you know and I, I'm you will notice a difference in your skin right away you will notice a, a, a plumping or you know a, um, a brightness and a radiance so I encourage you to try it but again try it if you have sensitive skin be careful try a little bit on your hand first see or try a little bit here first just to see what your skin does uh, go more for nourishing things if you have sensitive skin like hemp milk Oh, oats those are nourishing and soothing and um, be careful like maybe you don't want to add the vitamin C packet to here you know um, maybe go with just a, a little mashed strawberry in your in your mask so all the there's so many different um, formulas for you know fresh skin care in the ebook and I hope this helped you some to to bring plants into your life and into your food um, you know just you know you'll, you'll notice a huge difference you just eat a, a big plate of vegetables and uh, um, a grain and legumes and you know uh, fresh herbs on top so uh, so so hope you um, enjoyed this about fresh skincare <laughs>